Namaste. A question that came to my mind and the realization that followed after it, I wanted to share that with you all. Can we think of the copy of something as equal to the original? Like, for example, if you make a copy of your driver's license or if, if you make a copy of your ID proof and if it looks and works in the same way, then can we consider the copy as equal to the original if it looks the same, if it functions in the same manner and if it's as good as the original one, then can the copy be considered as equal to the original? Supposing there's a clone of a goat and if the clone is completely identical to the original goat, then would the clone be considered equal to the original goat? Now, it seems like a technical question, but I'll go deeper and this uh, becomes a philosophical question. Like, would there be any absolute salvation or absolute mukti as long as the Akashic records are preserved about that soul. Like supposing Gorakshanath Babaji, if we consider that he had attained moksha and he has completely dissolved his consciousness into God consciousness. But if a disciple yearns for his vision, his guidance, his glimpse, and he there have been incidents where they have received his guidance and his glimpse and his uh, help regarding spiritual sadhana. So one might ask, well, if he attained moksha, then how did he show himself? How did he, how is he still there, out there? Others may say, well, because the blueprint is in the Akashic records, it's preserved in the Akashic records. So though the original soul has merged into God consciousness, yet when a disciple, when a person, when a sadhaka yearns for the glimpse for his vision, then God consciousness will come, appear to that person for that sadhaka in the same manner as he wants. Then one might say, well, the original soul has attained mukti. So what does it matter if uh, what does it matter if God consciousness appears in the same form? It's not the original one. Well, would you say that it's not the original one because psychologically, in appearance, in memory, everything would be the same. But even if they have merged into God consciousness, because the blueprint is being preserved in the Akashic records, so God consciousness will appear in front of the devotee or in front of the disciple in the same form, in the same way as the original one. Then, I, at least for me, I would say it's equal to the original because what difference is, does it make? It is. It has the same memory, the same pattern of uh, thinking, the same psychology, characteristics, everything. It's equal to the original, isn't it? At least I would say so. So, as long as the blueprint remains in the Akashic records, there can't be any absolute mukti. And if hearing this, if somebody considers, well, I can do my sadhana and get mukti without remaining in the memories of other people, well, you can't do that also because during the sadhana and before absolute mukti, there are all the seven dimensions before that seven levels before that. How would you do such a long process without interacting with other sadhaka souls, without interacting with other aspirants, other gurus or disciples and this and that, relatives. So even mukti is krama mukti, isn't it? It's, it's like step by step. You attain mukti from this dimension, you go to the next dimension. You attain mukti from that dimension and you go to the higher dimension, still higher dimension and the process goes on till you have passed and crossed all the seven dimensions. So 
even after that there are more dimensions it is said so in this long process naturally all the akashic records and all the interactions the memories everything is being preserved and anybody who's reading a biography of you attaining mukti anybody being inspired by you if they evoke you again then even though you have merged in god consciousness you will have to appear again because the blueprint remains so there is no absolute mukti and in shami shishu shongbal in this book swami vivekananda says to sharchan chakrabarti the shishya that according to a branch of vedanta vedantins they believe that there is no individual mukti because a brahma gyani would realize that the whole of creation everything in it everything is one total one unified consciousness if it's one unified consciousness then how come there would be one individual mukti separate individual muktis can't be there because it's one total so until and unless the whole thing dissolves the whole creation is destroyed or dissolved until then there is no individual mukti what is there the individual souls can merge into hiranyagarbha hiranyagarbha is again the unified total consciousness and until and unless the hiranyagarbha itself dissolves and all the akashic records are dissolved then there would be complete mukti not before that well that is a different question whether you say that uh, well merging into hiranyagarbha is equal to mukti and that is enough and that suffices and that is preferable the option the preferences that is different the preferences is different i am not talking about that well you can say that it it is as good as mukti to me well it might be but the thing is it's not absolute mukti so until the whole creation dissolves until then there is no individual mukti there is no individual mukti that was a thrilling realization that came to me so anybody out there who is thinking of you know escaping all alone <laughs> well there is no escape all alone because it's one unified consciousness it's all one there is no separateness in this whole of creation as i had already said before whether you want to participate in the game whether you want to sit and be entertained by the game everything is possible there are all the options of that that are those are all degrees of you know mukti yet complete mukti wouldn't be there it's almost like you keep your eyes closed and if you can block your ears there is nothing out there okay there's no creation there's nothing it's pure consciousness if you can control your mind it's all pure consciousness but the moment you open your eyes and if your senses are working the whole creation is out there everything is out there so well it's up to you whether you want to you know watch enjoy or close your eyes and not see but whatever your choice be it's still out there until the whole thing dissolves and for those who would say that well this is a this is a dream this is an illusion well until the dream breaks and even then until the dream and illusion all dissolves completely even until then you are still there whether it's as the individual soul or whether it is as hiranyagarbha you are still there so that was it jai thakur jai ma